the dimensions of his grace. In him we have our redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace, that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. To me, who am less than the least of all saints, this grace was given, that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable, unfathomable, riches of Christ. Ephesians 1 verse 7, Ephesians 2 verse 7, Ephesians 3 verse 8. What are the dimensions of the grace of God? How extensive are the resources of His grace? So often we drastically underestimate the measure of God's supply of grace for our lives. God is rich in grace. When He forgave our sins, He did so according to the riches of His grace. Think of the bountiful measure of grace that was bestowed to remove our guilt and shame. God generously poured out His grace in order to wash away our iniquities. Yet, in doing this, He did not deplete the treasures of His grace. In Ephesians 2 verse 7, God speaks of the exceeding riches of His grace. The Lord's grace is far beyond any richness that we have ever yet comprehended or experienced. God's storehouse of grace is so abundantly full that He will be pouring it out upon us for the ages to come. Yes, it will take eternity for the Lord to fully demonstrate His grace toward us. This everlasting demonstration of His grace will involve showing His kindness toward all of us who are in Christ Jesus. Think of it, the dimensions of God's grace are sufficient for Him to make us the objects of His kindness forever and ever. One could liken the riches of God's grace to an infinitely vast ocean. Think of the immensity of the oceans of the world. Although they are magnificent in scope, every ocean can be searched out or fathomed. Every ocean has a bottom that can be reached. Though vast, they are finite. Paul testified that the Lord gave him grace to go forth and proclaim the unsearchable, unfathomable, riches of Christ. There is more grace available in the heart of God for us than there is water in all of the oceans of the world. Truly, no matter how much grace we have already discovered in Christ, we have only begun to search out the riches of His grace toward us. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we are awestruck at the vast dimensions of Your grace. Forgive us for underestimating that grace so often. Enlighten the eyes of our hearts that we might know the richness of Your grace. May the immeasurable ocean of Your grace be our daily supply for life in Christ, in His name we pray, Amen.